When you're a young kid, imagery is probably what scares you the most. However, as you get older, it's ideas and concepts that frighten you even more. I'm about to show you two different Powerpuff Girls episodes showcasing incredibly terrifying concepts, courtesy of him. He was probably my favorite villain on the Powerpuff Girls because his powers were, well, to be blunt, awesome. There really was no legitimate reason for him to lose. At all. At least in the earlier seasons before he downgraded into just another typical villain. Let's start with Speed Demon, a much different take on the It's a Wonderful Life story. It starts with the Powerpuff Girls waiting for class to get out. They're excited for an entire weekend at the Bahamas. Meanwhile, Miss Keene, the kindergarten teacher, is going through time travel theory. Yeah, we did all kinds of stuff like that in school back in the 90s. Buttercup challenges the other two to a race. Long story short, they go so fast that they go into a wormhole. Huh, I'm having a major sense of deja vu. They appear in front of their house, which is completely destroyed. Buttercup teases Bubbles, and she goes looking for the professor, who has changed. It looks like he's trying to recreate the Powerpuff Girls. Apparently, he thinks that they're hallucinations and tries to attack them with a cane. Then they see that the city of Townsville has pretty much been demolished. They go to the mayor's office. Miss Bellum isn't much better off than the professor. To make the call, call, call the girls, I said. Call the Powerpuff Girls! Those blank stares express much more than any imagery you can show me. Give away! He's mine! Don't come any closer! Okay, maybe not any imagery. The final stop is at the school. They find Miss Keene repeating her own madness mantra. Stood there waving goodbye, and they raced off for 50 years. 50 years. Suddenly, him appears. He tries to do some intimidation. Your time stopped for 50 years whilst you're out racing around! Seconds, minutes, hours, days, and nights. Crawl by on hands and knees as you race the speed of light. But the girls know better than to believe him. They try to beat him up, but can't seem to win. Then we see some really creepy posters that lead to some really frightening possibilities. Eventually, the girls start getting tired. Then he changes into an even more monstrous form. He tells the girls that it's all their fault that the world is destroyed simply for leaving. And Beauty lies in the film because it's your fault for leaving. Just as your friends. Yes. You did this. No! All I did was take over. It was easy. Why? You weren't here to protect us. You weren't here. That's not creepy at all. Now imagine if the world went to hell, and it was all your fault. And you were like six years old when it was your fault. And everyone else was telling you that it was your fault. Yeah, that, that's a lot of trauma. Enough to get the girls to panic and go back in time. They return home and decide to not go on vacation. Sorry, Professor, but we can't leave Townsville, even for one weekend. Right. Yeah, but why are we moving there? Well, I took a job offer at their lab. Yep, and now they can never, ever leave Townsville. That's a nice, happy ending. Since we got plenty of time left, let's take a look at Tough Love, which has an even more terrifying concept. It starts with the Powerpuff Girls going about their daily business, just saving people and getting rewarded for it. They save a cat in a tree, Miss Keene from breaking her neck, and open the mayor's pickle jar. Then they help the professor mix some chemicals that happen to explode. All of this has been watched by him, who is taking a bath. Okay. He absolutely hates the Powerpuff Girls, and apparently so does his rubber duck. And the duck gives him an idea. He spreads a red mist into the town that goes through everywhere and everything. Almost like the angel of death when I think about it. The girls try to help everyone that they helped yesterday. Unfortunately, they're not very helpful. When they get the uncooperative cat down from the tree for the uncooperative lady, she beats them over the head with a cane. They go to school where they're marked tardy. Then everyone, including the teacher, starts throwing things at the girls. H hey, this reminds me of an animated atrocity I did a while back. Except here, the people actually have a reason to do this to the girls. I guess I just found another reason to hate Town and Out. Its plot has been done before and done better in the same show. Even the phone seems to be angry at the girls as they get called into the mayor's office. It seems that the problem is the pickle jar again, except when the girls try to get it open, the mayor places them under arrest. The SWAT team breaks in and aims all of their guns at the Powerpuff Girls. Tell me again why guns had to be edited out of anime when we can place them without problem in our own shows. Since the girls aren't stupid or suicidal, <laughs> they don't stay around. Even the narrator doesn't seem to like them anymore. Most jarring is the professor. Then we get some real terrifying buildup. Context is magic! It seems that the entire town wants to destroy them. It's almost like they...
You know, I'm starting to believe in the argument that they could get away with more in cartoons in the past. Him has taken all the love that the people of Townsville had for the Powerpuff Girls and turned it into hate. Yes, he actually has the ability to do that. That would make for an interesting season 4 opener. So, his plan is that all the citizens of Townsville are going to fight them. And they won't be able to fight back, since they're their loved ones. At first, it actually seems to be that way. Until Buttercup decides to start fighting back. No, they're still your loved ones, they're just hypnotized to do him's bidding. They attack anyway, which really surprises him. Then they tell him to never make them do that again. This disc has you girls on the rest to make me. I never can repeat performances. You know, he didn't have to take all that hate dust away. The girls didn't beat it out of the people either. Him could have just left, forcing the girls to either kill or be killed by their loved ones. Isn't that a nice thought to munch on? Next time, I'll be reviewing something that I wanted to review since the very beginning. In our first anime review, I'll be tackling at least the first season of the cult classic anime, The Gregory Horror Show. It's going to be a different kind of episode. Mm -hmm.